Or taxi driver in Porto said that Lisbon is nice city but not walkable. We had challenge in that. <laughs> and I will test if Apple Watch can handle that. I fully charged it and I would like to see can it hold all day long. It is amazing view to the city. When we travel, we're always trying to be very first persons on the sightseeing objects. It's always crowded in the middle of the day and afternoon on any touristic place. When you go to those places in the morning, it's usually quiet and not so crowded. Maybe just it is because of sunny day, but I can say already that I'm in love of the city. And we are planning to go to that bridge and then about the same distance behind that bridge there will be some castle on the water. And that's the line, currently. <laughs> that's why we go early to all the... We just passed that bridge and we have a boat four more kilometers to go in that direction. Yeah, and I'm definitely happy that we decided to include Lisbon in our trip. We are one and a half day here so far. Love the city, really nice. Those dogs are exactly like my, my look at home. Mm -hmm. I miss my dog. So we made it to the castle on water. It is so far almost 15 kilometer walk and we are about half in our kind of today walking plan. I'm curious if Apple Watch will hold it till the end of the day. I like Apple Watch because of notifications, all that fitness things, but battery life is far away from perfect. So, we found the shop where they are selling those original pastis de Belen. That is basically kind of right one. And of course I bought two six packs of them because you know, one is none and two is one, so. <laughs> I'm not expert in those pastries, but Taste is very, very similar. Mmm, that's so tasty. Mm. Hello, hello, majestic bird. Thank you for this nice view. This side as well. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now we saw everything. So those birds are in almost every park here. I don't know why. Are they just living here or that is they are here for purpose? Yeah, nice looking. <laughs> Currently we are in Botanic Garden. There are huge cactuses and yeah, those nice birds. And we are on 18 kilometers of walk today. We just had two espressos in that uh, local place for 1 euro 30 cents. So Porto may be very inexpensive. If you are looking for coffee in more touristic places, that can be one euro, two euros, whatever. But for locals, that's really cheap. Actually, yeah, if you would like to be digital nomad, no need to move over to Thailand <laughs> to live cheaper. Seems that Portugal is relatively cheap as well. That's definitely much cheaper than, than living in Latvia. It's all about tires. <laughs> Ups and downs, ups and downs. We are on 22 and a half kilometers now and Unas watch already said that it has lost 10% of battery. Mine keeps silence. Yeah. Green Street of Lisbon. <laughs> that house is really are in green sand. Yeah. 24 kilometers. Watch still holding the charge. I was smart enough to bring phone charger. So we are covered with that. 
but unfortunately, I don't have charger for Apple Watch. Lunch break was perfect. Exactly what was needed. We are on 24.2 kilometers in our walk. I charged my phone a bit, so we are safe that at least phone will count all the steps and we will found our way back to home. But yeah, currently it is six o'clock on the evening and we are walking around science about 8.30. So do your math. <laughs> it's not 12 hours yet, but Apple Watch is already on 10% of the battery life. I would love to see how tram is going up or down on the street. It is just really kind of, I don't know. It's not easy to get up here. There are stairs on the side to make it easier. It's clear how it makes downhill, but how it makes back up, I would like to see that. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Obviously, this tram is staying here for a very long time already. But yeah, basically, that looks like how it was. <laughs> huh. This one thing still operating. I will not say it's going crazy fast. Okay, it is not much faster than go back by food, but it's fun experience. Oh, one is coming up. Another one is coming up. We go the distance of the drive. Right here on the top of the hill is the starting point of this line, and that is the end of the line. Actually, it's not very long, it is just one street. If you are an old man with few beers and few burgers in your stomach, maybe that is just perfect, right? So we are back from our walk and we made to 30 kilometers, uh, 30.2 kilometers. So that was nice walk, but Apple Watch died on about 25 kilometers. And yeah, that is workout what, I'm what I have registered in memory. So Apple Watch filed <laughs> this test. If you're looking for <laughs> fitness watch, which can kind of handle all day long activities, Apple Watch is not the best choice, unfortunately. Hopefully, we will see something better, but I have, I have Apple Watch uh, 6, my wife have Apple Watch C, so basically both have about the same result. I will need to rely on those step counter data only, because outdoor walk activity can handle, I don't know, at about, I would say that was at about 8, eight-ish hours, something like that. I will keep using it, of course, during this trip, and yeah, battery, of course, will keep dying, but uh, maybe, maybe that was kind of extreme walk. I will reconsider taking Apple Watch with me in my next trip. I was already on fence about getting it with me in this trip. I was thinking about getting mechanical watch, but I like Apple Watch notifications, all that stuff, it's nice. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should give a try to Garmin or something like that in near future, someday maybe. Okay, thank you for watching, see you on next one, bye bye.